Hey everybody, my name is Shauna. Welcome to my Shauna Moana channel. And I woke up not too long ago, but it's Tuesday, so you know what that means. Tuesdays and Fridays are my recording days. Why the heck am I up in my living room? Well, because I'm home alone, so I figured I can, you know, just make a quick video for today. Uh, I just want to show you guys the paint job, first of all, that my dad and I have been working on. I'm not really sure how far my dad wants to paint this area gray because you guys can see a little bit of the gray stand show up here. Apparently my dad wants to paint the living room kind of like that blue color that you see. So yeah, I think he's going to be painting like a light bluish violet color like for this wall this wall, that wall, I just, I don't know how far he's going to go, but that's what it looks like so far, and I don't know if he has some spots to fix up over there, especially like that line that you guys see. Uh, I don't think any of the outdoor cats are going to come. Because a fluffy one she visits like most of the time, but I stood outside and she's just not like there. Um, anyways, I just want to say happy Canada Day in advance because Canada Day is tomorrow. So happy Canada Day to uh, my fellow Canadians who are watching this. I know I kind of messed up my sentence, but still. Um, I know you guys can get like a bunch of fireworks from convenience stores. Just be careful when you're playing with fireworks. Like I know we're all adults. Most people who watch my videos are probably adults, but be careful with fireworks because fireworks have ended up in people's windows and doors. So just make sure you guys have those closed if you're doing fireworks in front of your house, like in your um well, I highly doubt that people do it in their driveway, but like on the road where it would be a lot safer. Make sure like you don't do it near like a whole bunch of trees because I've heard of people um, getting um, trees caught on fire and stuff like that. So just be careful with your fireworks and uh, yeah, happy Canada Day. I hope you guys all have a wonderful and safe time. I'll be watching a couple of Blue Jays games tomorrow and that's a uh, baseball so yeah uh, and in advance I just want to say happy 4th of July as well because you know Windsor is right across from Detroit so normally they would do a fireworks display to kind of celebrate both Canada Day and the 4th of July because you know Windsor Detroit border city border cities should have said that um, normally there'd be the festival and there'd be fireworks, but because of the pandemic, all of that is canceled. So, uh, same with the Carousel of the Nations. Um, my aunt thought I was going to be watching some of the dances virtually. I actually forgot about that. There was like a couple of events on Facebook that I clicked going, but I never ended up watching any of them. And, uh... Apparently, if you call some of the villages, you can go and pick up your food. So it's like a little quick drive-by. Uh, I probably should have done that because I do miss some of their food. Um, Cedar Point apparently is going to be opening up, but they're going to be doing a lot of activities on the beaches. That's kind of lame in my opinion because Cedar Point is all about the roller coasters. It's all about the water park. Um, and the activities, like the arcade that they have there, but it's mostly about the roller coasters. Since Cedar Point is a roller coaster capital, it's the roller coaster capital of the world. It's the safest park. It's the only amusement park that I can trust um, because they never had any serious accidents or deaths like Six Flags or other parks from around the world. You know, Cedar Point's like the safest park that I could recommend to anyone. Um, you know, I wish some K-pop idols could have gone to 
Cedar Point because I haven't been freaking dope. Because, um, you know, I've seen Big Bang uh, go on some roller coasters. and They went on a roller coaster and they went on a, through a haunted house in Japan, I think. Um, but yeah, like, I would love to see some famous people at Cedar Point. Like, uh, I don't know if, like, any of my favorite celebrities have gone to Cedar Point, but I definitely recommend it if they love like, roller coasters, especially during Hollow Weekend. Hollow Weekend is the best time to go to Cedar Point. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's definitely a lot of fun, especially if you love Halloween. Like, they used to have people, uh, they used to have Cedar Point all fogged up. They used to have fog machines everywhere, and people in costumes would chase you uh, but they don't do that anymore for safety reasons. Um, I don't remember it being like that because I didn't go during Halloween weekend. My aunt and my one of my two sisters, my two sisters and my aunt went to Cedar Point. I don't know who else went, but they went to Cedar Point during Halloween weekend, and they told, well, she told me that. They used to have people in costumes chase you around the park, but they only do it in one section of the park now because of safety reasons because some people were getting hurt um so that sucks you know 2020 has been cancelled let's just say that you know a lot of stuff has been cancelled this pandemic is crazy the number of cases are over 10 million the number of the death toll in total is over 500,000, you know, half a million. And, you know, I've already talked about this, you know, survivors who have caught COVID-19 and who are recovering at home still have mild symptoms. They don't have their sense of taste. Like, imagine wanting to be a chef and then having to put that dream on hold because you can no longer taste. Like, imagine catching COVID-19. You survive it. You go home, but you can no longer taste the food, no matter how many days it's been. You can no longer taste your favorite food. That, that to me, is, like, such a loss because, you know, I have a lot of favorite food. But that's so sad to not be able to taste your favorite food anymore. Like, everything's going to taste like cardboard. Like, it, there's, it's going to taste like mush. Like... I don't know. That's what the guy who who uh, survived COVID-19, he said everything tastes like cardboard. Anyways, I um, really hope everybody stays safe out there. And uh, I said I was going to be going to the mall once this summer, but I changed my mind. I'm not going to be going to the mall even if it's open. Let's just go see if any of the kitties are out there. I just want to say that I've seen people complaining um, about how they hate their voices on video. For me, for my case, when I first began YouTube, I was very shy and I didn't know what to talk about. I kind of hated my voice. I kind of hate my voices. I kind of hated my voice, but guess what? This is my third YouTube channel. I'm not new to YouTube. Do I hate my voice? I kind of ignore it because I just talk about whatever I want to, you know, what's going on in my life, what's going on in the world. And I kind of ignore it. I don't really care about how my voice sounds on ca like on camera. I don't care about it. And my dad and I have uh, picked all the weeds from the pool. And I don't see any of the fuzzies, so, yeah. Um, I don't care how my voice sounds on camera. I know a lot of people are kind of, like, insecure about that. They're not really too confident about it. But anyways, happy Canada Day. Happy 4th of July, because, uh, you know, I'm in a border city. Be careful with your fireworks. Um, Stay safe out there, wear a mask, unless you have a serious medical condition. I know there's going to be a lot of sickos who are going to fake an illness just so they can uh, not wear a mask. Uh, there's a lot of Karens out there 
And that's what I call them. I call a lot of the uh, entitled people. They're going to be a Karen. If they're going to be a guy and act like a drama queen, he's going to be known as Kyle. So the Karen is the one who thinks she can get what... A Karen is someone who thinks she can get whatever she wants. Um, and a Kyle is uh, the same thing. Is a male version of a Karen. So it's Karen and Kyle. I'm sorry I had trouble saying that frickin' line. But I woke up not too long ago, and I'm here making this video. I don't really care how my voice sounds on camera, but everybody, stay safe out there. YouTube is just a fun hobby. So I'm going to end this video by saying, please continue to, to, uh, <laughs> please continue to subscribe to my channel, like this video. Comment down below, turn on the bell for notifications. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, if you guys want me to talk about something, please let me know. Please, like, leave a comment. Um... I will remove those comments, uh, those people who send me those dirty websites. Someone has sent me like a, a website for like adult stuff, so I'm just like, <laughs> you're gone. Um, so yeah, if I forgot to say anything, that'll be in the description box down below along with, with my social media. I keep messing up my words for some reason, but I'm just going to ignore it and just bear with me. If I forgot to say anything, that'll be in the description box down below, along with my social media. I'll use our Facebook and Twitter so you guys can check that out. I'm not really sure if I'm going to create Instagram, but um, I'll talk about that next, in my next video on Friday. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace.